Now, we've already seen some insane builds in NBA 2K24, but by far, this one right here might just need to be banned, okay? The last video we uploaded, which was yesterday, we decided to make a two-way mid-range playmaker, okay? That video is already out, so check it out if you haven't already, but today... Oh yeah, today we have a two-way mid-range creator, bro. What the freak does, bro, what, what is that? Okay, some of these builds are actually pretty rare. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make it. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and let's get straight into it. So of course, we're going with the point guard position. When it comes to our height, we really wanted to aim more so for those meta builds. We don't want to be 6'3", we don't want to be 6'4", we want to be 6'6", you feel me? We be a 6'6". Weight. Weight is going to be important because it alters our strength rating. Now, for you guys that might not be too hip because you know, you guys are probably watching this video later, maybe after Christmas or whatever, so welcome Christmas noobs! This is for you! The weight. It's going to matter because it messes with your strength. And if you don't know, strength is important in NBA 2K24 on offense and on defense. So do you need strength this year? Yes, you do. 205 pounds is where we're going, all right? Wingspan, we're going to keep it as is six foot 11. Now this is going to give us the best of both worlds when it comes to shooting and when it comes to defense. So we're gonna go ahead and continue here. Now, when it comes to these attributes, these things are wacky. I'm not gonna lie, because I can give you a base for a build and you can make like three to four builds just off the simple base that I gave you, just by changing like three things, all right? So this build is going to be a little similar to the last build, pretty much, where we dropped that yesterday, the, the two-way mid-range playmaker. It's, it's pretty similar, but this one might be a little bit better. It got better shooting. So here we go. Close shot. We're going to go with a 71 for our close shot here. Of course, we're looking for that. Uh, we're looking for that pro touch. We're looking for any layup badges that we can get here. Driving layup. We're going 80. Now with this 80, this gives us everything that we need. You see the Hall of Fame Pro Touch, you see the float game, you see the scooper. This is not going to be a build that's going to be dunking on people's head tops. We, we're not doing that. It's way too expensive when it comes to attributes. So we decided to hold back on dunking on everybody on the court. And we're gonna play this smart because we can have higher shooting better defense better playmaking like there's just so much we could do if we just sacrifice driving dunk i know it looks sexy but trust me it ain't all that all right we're going to skip driving dunk we're going to skip standing dunk and we're going to also skip post control we're going straight into the shooting now when it comes to mid-range the mid-range in nba 2k24 is obviously broken Everybody's complaining about the jump shot meters and all that stuff, but the green windows on mid-range shots are the are the largest that I've seen, other than, of course, you know, when you're directly around the rim and you have Hall of Fame Pro Touch. There's no bigger green window than that. Hall of Fame Pro Touch is insane. But mid-range shots, that green window is pretty disgusting. So when it comes to mid-range, we're going with a 93 mid-range. Now, this should be enough to get you going get you started and if you really get the going on offense especially hitting these wide open and free mid-range shots then you're going to heat up quick if you're using the accelerator park you're going to have takeover in like three four shots bro like it, it, it's really that easy and then it's game over whoever get takeover first it, it might just be game over mid-range 93 our three ball we're going with a 77 three ball. We decided to hold back a little bit and the 77 is going to be an easy green just because by the time you're even ready to shoot a three, you're probably in takeover anyway, you know? So that takeover is going to push your three ball to like an 87. 
you're going to be able to hit, especially with these freaking shooting badges. We didn't even talk about the shooting badges, bro. All gold, all Hall of Fame shooting badges. If you miss my G, you might need to go on Amazon and find some new thumbs, okay? Mid range, you're going to kill it, okay? Three ball, you got some good badges here. Of course, that mid range kind of carries all of our shooting badges but you know who really cares you're still getting the the shooting badges that you need on either gold or hall of fame when it comes to free throws just in case <clears throat> excuse me just in case y'all really wanted to use this build at the rack you know pro-am whatever the case may be we decided to go with a 92 free throw now if you miss a free throw you owe me like 10 push-ups bro because that's crazy all right you get the gold free points now when it comes to our playmaking ability we are a point guard build at the end of the day so we gotta do some point guard ish okay don't be weird get your teammates open you're going to be able to get buckets all right pass accuracy is stupid important in 2k this year because it alters your passes your speed, your, the speed of your passes matter, bro. Because there are some lockdowns out here waiting for you. They they going to, bro, you've played them before. You know what's going to happen. Pass accuracy, we're going with an 80. After you hit that 80 pass accuracy, we're going to go for our ball handle to be a 93. There shouldn't be too many things that this bill cannot do with the ball in its hand hands 93 ball handle and then with the speed with ball we're going 85 so when it comes to your animations and you know your sigs you should be able to unlock anything that you would be using on any other build that you have all right this is high enough to go crazy you're going to be able to get to the rim you're going to be able to get those floaters off you're going to be able to just lay the ball up you're going to be able to find your spots to shoot the open mid range you're going to be able to go crazy now the best part about this is this build is a two-way let me say it again this build is a two-way it's one of the most meta driven builds that you can even use in nba 2k24 because lockdowns and two ways are toxic we want to join that group interior defense you shouldn't worry too much about the interior defense as a point guard this is exactly why you should be running with a center but for our interior defense 35 our perimeter defense though check me out our perimeter defense is going to be a 94 94 perimeter defense is all you need if you dial it back you're going to have some gold badges but if you hit that sweet spot at 94 you're looking at gold and Hall of Fame perimeter defensive badges. Now, when it comes to the steel, it's really hard to have steals, a high steal and a high block on your build this year because 2K is just a little, little stingy with some of these attribute points. They ain't, they ain't want to get no demigods, no chance out here. So we went with the bare minimum of steel. I don't really like having a crazy high steal if you know if that's going to take away from everything else this build has right now so we went with the bare minimum of a 60 steel to get that bronze interceptor now when it comes to our block we're going to completely ignore that ignore our offensive rebound and then also our defensive rebound our defensive rebound is actually going to be a 49 now when it comes to our physicals to top this build completely off and make this build a goat this is what you need to do speed is going to be an 87 this is going to tie into your lateral quickness making you a better defender and it also gives you some really wacky dribbling badges as well you see the speed booster you see the the hyper drive like you're on something bro you might need to pee in a cup because you gotta take a drug test your boy is looking like a healthy crackhead we're not even done yet okay acceleration when it comes to acceleration 77 for our acceleration you see 
we got everything that we need if you win 76 you, you're going to get that silver fast feet you might as well go 77 it's going to make you become a better defender because fast feet is actually a really good badge in 2k24 now strength is very important for offense and defense so check us out here for our strength we went with a 74 strength this is going to give us everything that we need clamps gold fearless finisher silver bulldozer bronze physical handles you need physical handles bruh and we get that on goal okay we get that on goal vertical since we're not dumping and dunking on people's head tops and just you know destroying people's dreams on 2k then we don't need a high vertical okay we we're not going for contact dunks we're not going for anything so we went with a 60 for our vertical and this will allow us to go all the way out for stamina so we have a 90 whoa 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 we messed up somewhere hold on hold on hold on let me fix this let me fix this all right let me fix this real quick oh this is where we went wrong right here 35 okay we go 35 and that's going to give us a 99 stamina we need that 99 to get those extra hall of fame badges so of course you see we got the handles for days gold hall of fame 94 feet hall of fame workhorse bro look at that look at that not only can we dribble we can defend like crazy check out the defensive badges when it comes to perimeter we locking that up we are locking that up we got the clamps we got the challenger hall of fame fast feet we're going to be able to be able to just stay in front of our opponent like they are not going to want to dribble on you bro they're not so the cutoffs that you get with this build is going to be insane then on, on top of that when you have the ball in your hands you're going crazy gold hall of fame then shooting we don't even really need to even talk about your ability to just get those mid-range shots to drop bro and then if you really wanted to play spot up bro like being a spot up especially after you hit takeover bro catch and shoot hall of fame bro bro midi magician hall of fame bro i i, I don't know if you're hearing me i don't know if you're hearing me so you can finish around the rim and then you can finish you know mid-range three at the line like bro this is everything that you truly need in a point guard right here so we're gonna go ahead press continue and we're gonna go ahead and see what shades that nba 2k24 would like to give us now i'm not gonna complain here i'm not gonna complain chauncey billups drew holiday and cj mccullum those some hopeless bro those some hopeless we are a two-way mid-range creator now y'all drop w's and l's down below in the comments on you know just give this build a rating what would you think or what would you say this build is is it a w is it an l y'all let me know i want to hear from you all right if you enjoyed today's video i would greatly appreciate you guys all smash a like on the video it truly helps your boy grow i'd really appreciate it too all right subscribe ring the bell if you're new and I will see you all in this next video that is on your screen right now, okay? Make sure to click it, okay? Click it. I'm, I'm, I'm watching you. Click it, and I'll see you soon.